Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, this is Making It Happen with Mary and I am Mary. I'm in a very pink mood, honey. So today we are going to talk about this new one released from Bath and Body Works. It is part of their luxury line. I'm gonna, I decided I'm going to start calling it that because some of these scents are pretty damn good, y'all. I ain't going to lie. I ain't going to lie. And the one we're going to talk about today is Covered in Roses. Oh, uh, auntie, cover me in some roses. I am digging this color, this packaging. The, the I, Pink is my signature color. It is. You ever see that movie, Steel Magnolias? Julia Roberts and Sally Field, Dolly Parton, Olivia Dukakis, or Olympia Dukakis. My bad, my bad. But yeah, that movie, Pink is my signature color. Yeah, yeah, and I'm digging the color of this bottle. Scent notes are ruby berries, sugared rosebuds, and blush amber. Yo, I feel like people are sleeping on this one. And I say that because a lot of times Bath & Body Works will name some of their scents and the names don't exactly jive sometimes with what's actually what the juice is given. Yes, this is, said, is called Covered in Roses. However, the rose in here is such a deep, dark, dark rose. And I freaking love it. The other notes in here, that blush amber and the berry note, definitely overpower that rose in some ways. It's almost like a dried rosebud. That is what type of rose this is giving me. And I love it. It is deep, it is sensual, it is gorgeous, it's extremely feminine, but in a deep, seductive way. And I freaking love it. And I know they don't list it, but I'm almost getting coffee espresso notes in here, way in the background. Yes, and I love it. And I knew as soon as I smelled it, there were a couple of comparisons I knew I had to pull out and, and actually check, because... Yo, they are saying that this is supposed to be like Delina, right? Uh, by Parfum de Marly, Delina. Now, I am I am more of a fan of Delina Exclusif. I do have a sample from Juliana's Perfume that is their uh, version of Delina. They call it Inner Beauty. And I know that their, inner, their uh, Delina Exclusif, they call Inner Beauty Exclusif which is fabulous, baby, fabulous. But I do have the sample. Scent notes are rhubarb, bergamot, lychee, nutmeg, vanilla, Damascan rose, suede, peony, cedar, frankincense, veveter, and cashmere. All righty, well, let's take a sniff. I have not smelled this in a long time. Hmm. I'm going to have to respectfully disagree because I feel like D the Delina version has a lot more floral notes going on in there. Like I can definitely get the, the peony and the cedar in here and even that, that uh, lychee, whereas I'm not getting that in here at all. Like there's nothing really bright about this. It's deep and seductive. Um, I think this it could actually be closer to Delina Exclusive, but we'll talk we'll talk about that in a minute, baby. We'll talk. So I personally don't think it's like Delina, although I do think it's closer to something else. And my opinion is uh, I love this scent. It's by Zara. It's called Rose Gourmand. Rose Gourmand. I adore this. As you can see, I got a hella dent in girl. Oh girl got a hella dent. Hella dent. Scent notes on Zara's Gourmand Rose. And I'm sorry, I take that back. It's called Rose Gourmand, not Gourmand Rose. <laughs> Scent notes for Rose Gourmand is rose, amber, and vanilla. We have berries, rose, and amber. Just want to point that out. Yes, lover. Yes, yes. I'm thinking this is closer to this. Oh. 
And actually, this is lighter. It's got a, a bit more brightness to it. The vanilla really comes through on this in comparison to Covered in Roses. Yes, I do think the vanilla is heavier in here, but I think it's closer, in my opinion, than Delina. I'm just going to be honest. It's a gorgeous scent. I love, I absolutely love Rose Gourmand by Zara. It is beautiful. The vanilla comes through with that rose. And then you also have, what was that other note? Yeah, you have that rose, the amber, and the vanilla in here, and it is gorgeous. It is definitely a gourmand rose. The vanilla just makes it superb. I highly recommend this one. This has massive staying power. So far as the staying power for this baby, oh, she lasted a good three and a half hours. I was impressed. I was impressed. I know that sounds bad when we used to say a body spray could last all day. Those days are gone, I think, for the most part. I'm happy to get three to four hours of wear out of a body spray nowadays. It's, don't even get me started, y'all, because you know how I can get. This definitely has a tinge of a gourmand note in there, but it's predominantly that deep, dark rose, and it's, it's so dark, and the amber and the berries come through. It is so seductive. I had someone uh, smell this today on me, and they were quite impressed. It comes across feminine but sexy seductive. Now, the last one I want to compare it to, I did see this on TikTok, and I kind of had to go. And the reason I say this is because I've also seen a lot of people compare this next one to Delina Exclusif. And it's Sol Janeiro's number 68. Yep. I love this scent. It's Brazilian Jasmine and Pink Dragon Fruit. But hold on, baby. Hold on. Hold on. Scent notes are Pink Dragon Fruit, Lychee, Brazilian Jasmine, Ocean Air, Hibiscus, Sheer Vanilla, and Sun Musk. And I know that's going to sound crazy. However, I swear to God, this does smell very, very, very similar to Rose or to uh, Delina Exclusive, without a doubt. Delina Exclusive is one of my favorite scents. I do wear her a lot, and this I've paired it many a times with this body spray. And honey, she's strong. She's strong. But I do also pick up notes of lychee in here that are heavier. So in comparison, though, these two in comparison, no, this is so much darker and deeper, and this is much brighter, although they still evoke the same feeling, like seductive, sexy, grown woman. This is just lighter, though, honey. It's just lighter. But this, I highly recommend. Even if you're afraid of florals and you don't like florals, I suggest, if you can, to get in there and sniff her because she's good. Oh, she's good. And it's not a traditional rose like what you're thinking. It absolutely is not. This is freaking gorgeous. She's staying in my collection. I cannot wait to actually pair her with Rose Gourmand and... My little bottle of Delina, and I have some Delina Exclusive that I think I'm going to pair her with, and I think it's going to be absolutely gorgeous. Did you pick up Covered in Roses? What did you think? What did you think? Definitely leave me a comment down below and let me know. And uh, y'all know the drill by now. Like, comment, subscribe, and ding the bell so you're alerted every single time your girl uploads. And I will see you in the next one. All right, you guys. Bye-bye. Thank you.